Hello, my friends. This is the video that I made on SoFi just six days ago on uh, June 29th of this year, when the price of this asset was at $6.61. And I told you that we were in this uh, formation. It is a fallen bullish wedge and we have, uh, we have more chances. We have more than 75% uh, of chances to break uh, this upper border to the upside. And my main assumption was that potentially, yes, we have all the chances to break it. But uh, uh, in a worst case scenario, we have to retest. We have to have a bounce to the downside and we have to retest the lower border of this formation. And take a look right here. Uh, we were at this point, uh, we retested this range. Then we went lower. And for now, we are approaching to this range of resistance again. And guys, I have to admit that uh, in general, nothing has changed fundamentally for this asset. We are still in this formation and we still have more than 75% probability to hit higher targets, to have a breakout to the upside. And I still hold uh, my position uh, uh, on uh, call options on SoFi. And uh, I have to admit that uh, well, right before this earnings report, we, have, uh, we might have quite interesting price action. And I will explain you what I'm talking about in just several minutes. But uh, guys, uh, if you uh, follow my channel for quite some time, you know that uh, my win rate uh, on uh, different assets is higher than uh, 60 and even 70%. Uh, and that is why you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. And if you want to know more about technical analysis, feel free to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month, you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, and it is the most lucrative offer. There is not so many people inside the Discord group. That is why almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. And it is pretty much one-on-one -on -one training for the value of $450 a month, but for the fraction of this cost. And I think it is quite a fair deal. And guys, uh, take a look right here. This is my Discord server. And uh, I uh, answered a lot of questions of uh, my uh, Discord members. As you can see, this is uh, the SoFi as well. And uh, I covered it. Uh, basically, I answer all the questions that my community asked me. And uh, here I uh, made even uh, some theory lessons uh, where I explained uh, what uh, you should anticipate uh, from the upcoming price action. And again, uh, this is the most recent video that I made on demand on one of, for one of my community members. And uh, this uh, is a ULTA ticker symbol. So let's continue with the fundamental news and uh, let's take a look on the general sentiment uh, for so far. If you Google SoFi stock uh, on uh, the uh, Google search bar and switch to news tab folder, you have basically just a couple of most recent news that were published on uh, just 22 hours ago and 16 hours ago. One of them is quite bullish and one of them uh, is not. And uh, let me start with this news that is not so bullish. And it's titled, SoFi Technologies uh, coming earnings report might disappoint analysts says. And the only, uh, the only downside uh, for the upcoming earnings is right here. We do not believe there are any material changes that have taken place since the company reported Q1 results and provided updated guidance, he wrote. For its second quarter, Safai said it sees adjusted net revenue of $555 million to, 600, or to $565 million, which would be a decrease from $580.65 million reported in the first quarter. However, there are some quarter-over-quarter -quarter headwinds worth noting uh, that should uh, cause EPS to be lower, Ryan added. And guys, uh, let's take a look right here. On the most recent earnings reports, uh, let's take a look on their uh, revenue. They reported $580.6 uh, million. On previous one, uh, uh, on uh, January 29th, they reported $594 million. Previous, previous one, uh, they reported $530 million. So the most recent earnings report uh, has a lower revenue than uh, it had previously. And uh, the upcoming uh, uh, estimation is set at $567.8 million. It is not uh, the uh, best uh, growth, I have to say, but we have to wait for the earnings report itself that will take place. 
that will be disclosed on uh, July 30th. And guys, in my technical analysis, I will show you what uh, potential price action we might have for uh, right after and right before this earnings report. But uh, let's take a look right here first of all. We are on uh, fintel.io and I want to pay your attention first of all again uh, to this uh, chart. It is the Sofi Technologies Institutional Ownership and uh, we have the highest level ever of institutional investors who want to hold uh, Sofi stock in their investment portfolios. On top of that, the most recent price, the most recent uh, activity of this uh, so-called smart money list uh, is quite positive. In this uh, column, you can see uh, all the positive changes. We have more positive uh, numbers right here. This means uh, all these companies, uh, uh, they are increasing their position uh, on SoFi. And uh, as you can see, Fidelity uh, did it uh, just at the very end of... Uh, they filed it uh, at the very end of uh, June and they did it at least 45 days prior. Previously, BlackRock... Uh, added to their position again 3.48% uh, 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 and uh, uh, they even opened completely new position with one of their branches. And guys, uh, keep, in, um, keep in mind that these uh, dates uh, are just a filing dates and the real execution, deal execution dates are at least 45 days prior. And take a look right here. If uh, we uh, take a look on the previous price action, we have uh, we are pretty much in downtrend uh, since the beginning of uh, this year, from the very end of last year, December 27, till the uh, till the current date. And this means all of the previous uh, add-ons uh, to their position from the smart money investors were made on the higher prices that uh, you have uh, and we all have right now, and it is quite a lucrative point. On top of that, we don't have any uh, activity from the insiders. Uh, the most recent one I covered uh, just uh, in my previous video. And it was predefined uh, sell-off. If uh, you click on uh, his name, you can see that Jeremy Rischel... Let me show you right here. Jeremy Rischel sold uh, 56,273 shares on uh, June uh, the 20th. And previously he sold exactly the same number of shares... Uh, on March 19th and previously he sold exactly the same number of shares on uh, December 19th and this means it is a predefined sell-off it is not an occasional uh, bearish pressure that is why you shouldn't rely on this sell-off as a better sign on top of that guys uh, let me show you for example Cathy Sarko uh, funds and uh, uh, from the very end uh, from the very end of May all of her funds uh, hold the SoFi uh, very very strong and they have 14.184 uh, uh, million shares uh, in their investment portfolio and they do nothing with them they just hold their position strong uh, take a look right here on this uh, increasing uh, number of shares they did it uh, when the price uh, of uh, sofi was at eight uh, dollars uh, and even uh, eight uh, almost nine eight point uh, ninety eight dollars and guys this means the ARK Invest Fund's position uh, average price is higher than the current price of uh, SoFi. This means if you want to invest in this asset for just uh, several uh, months, at least several months, uh, it is a very lucrative point to do so because in uh, the majority of cases uh, and uh, we have the highest probability uh, to see the breakout to the upside. But let's uh, continue with the technical analysis. And before we dive deeper right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, I still stand on my position that we have to see the breakout uh, above the range of resistance. And uh, we have uh, less uh, than uh, three weeks, I guess less than three weeks till uh, the uh, earnings uh, report date. And uh, this means, uh, well, let's take a look retrospectively, what uh, did... Uh, we have uh, back in the days uh, right before uh, their last earnings report we have a quite substantial movement to the upside for about 18 percent then we have this drop to the downside and we were uh we continue the trend uh, to the downside next one uh this uh earnings report right before this earnings report and by the way this green rectangle showed the uh, accumulation point uh, that I marked back in January. From this point uh, it went higher and it reached uh, 
27% uh, of potential profit within just several sessions. But then uh, we uh, went again somewhere at this level. So definitely right before the earnings report, we still have a possibility to see this uh, higher price action. But guys, if uh, you want to benefit out of this movement, uh, be cautious because of its uh, potential decrease uh, uh, in its value right after the earnings report. I don't think that uh, we might break uh, the bottom of this range, but definitely we have to see quite a deeper retracement right after the earnings report is published. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only got one team